Boy, oh boy, some people just never seem to learn, do they? Or at least they don't learn from other people's mistakes, which is evident by this video right here, which covers a lesser known NBA player that just recently got into some hot, hot water because of his use of a racial slur that is offensive to the Jewish community. Now, none of that will be uttered here on this channel, but I will be playing the clips from his stream. So this is a bit of a warning to those who might find it offensive but if you actually want to see the footage of this particular NBA player and his reaction to him being caught then I suggest you stick around but other than that let's get right into it alrighty what's going on everybody so apparently Miami Heat's forward I think Miles Leonard some nine-year veteran not really any not really anybody who's typically famous I guess he flies a bit under the radar but people know who he is at the same time I think he's most known for being dunked on by LeBron I think last season he got posterized pretty bad so that's really where I know him from but a lot of you guys who aren't really into the NBA are about to be introduced to him right now are about to be introduced to him right now so Miles Leonard in a recent stream of Call of Duty I don't really understand the situation too much what was going on with the game at least but he was I think sniped or getting sniped at getting shot out or something like that and he uttered the words don't you effing snipe me you k-word female dog now I mean if you're smart enough you can piece together the words but just in case if you don't understand what I said it's basically a racial slur in that middle part I'll let your mind fill in the blanks but basically this isn't the first time a I don't know I don't want to say well known but a streamer has decided to go off for no reason just using any old kind of language like people aren't watching them now it's not cool to use language especially when you're on stream like that's just a given but especially when you're not being watched by thousands of people potentially it's still a good habit to not use that sort of language and now you might be thinking like what on earth was an NBA player trash or not doing streaming in the middle of a season well Miles Leonard right now is hurt so that's probably why he was able to you know find the free time to actually end up streaming and saying some dumb idiotic stuff like this and interestingly enough I actually heard about this news first from uh, my phone when I was on YouTube and you know I followed this YouTuber who covers NBA content and of course this being an NBA related story he actually found it interesting enough to you know go ahead and commentate on it and the YouTuber I was talking about was the flight Mike he's Jewish himself which is something that I learned today actually I didn't really know that before this video that he made but he started spitting some interesting facts about Jewish people that I didn't really know about. He started saying stuff like this would fly completely under the radar or would get dismissed eventually because Jewish people themselves make up 1% of the population in America or less than 1% of the population, population, which is pretty weird. I mean, I never really thought about it like that. And he said that people wouldn't really care about it because it wouldn't pertain to them because Jewish people themselves are in such a minority to the rest of the population in America. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and play the clip for you guys so you can see it right here. Of course, it'll be edited so the actual slur will be bleeped out. So here you go. Let's go, baby. Fucking cowards. Don't fucking snag me, you fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I just dropped that on my head. That didn't even go to fucking... Um, anyways. Okay, so I'm not one to just jump to conclusions like this, but you guys saw how effortless it was for him to say that, especially on stream, and you heard his friend laughing in the background as well. So from my guess, I'm not just gonna, you know, accuse him of always saying this word. It seems to be a regular part of his vocabulary, and that's never a good sign for anybody, especially an NBA player who's streaming. Like, I just don't understand how you could do that. And just wait until he gets caught and you'll see how he reacts. He tries to, like, play it off like it's nothing. But as soon as he said this on stream, it caught immediate fire and went straight up to Twitter. Oh, no, they're not teaming. Grab it, I gotta take a quick phone call. Yep.
Yo, my wife needs me. She just called me. I'll, uh, I gotta roll, brother. GG's. Okay. Hey, GG about that. What do you think? Yep. It's not clear if Leonard quit after he was informed that the racial slur gained traction on social media, but the Miami Heat, which is an NBA team that Miles Leonard plays for currently, are aware of the slur, and the spokesperson for the team told the South Florida Sun Sentinel that the Heat are aware of the video and are reviewing it. The Heat have not yet released a statement about it, but the NBA spokesman, Mike Bass, has said that the league is also reviewing it and that they unequivocally condemn all forms of hate speech. Now, there's two things I want to leave you guys with, and that is just think about this right miles leonard is on a 10.1 million dollar contract with the miami heat so he's worth something right even though he's a nine-year veteran okay and even with that if i'm getting paid 10 million dollars by an nba organization that doesn't need me that much i mean the heat situation is kind of confusing right now but i mean they're starting to piece it together miles leonard i guess was a certain piece that is worth 10 million dollars apparently but i'm pretty sure they can definitely cut that to 5 million but that's neither here nor there if i'm getting paid 10 million dollars by an nba organization you best believe i'm going to be on my best behavior especially not saying anything like this that could get me I don't know fired well I don't know about fired that could get me suspended without pay you know what I'm saying there's a, there's a whole bunch of like contract agreements and everything so I don't know where this actually falls within his contract and stuff that he signed and whatnot but another thing is what if you got you got to think people are still watching you on TV and as soon as they hear about this they're going to be disgusted at what you said then you lose supporters then you lose followers on twitch and wherever you were streaming I don't know where this guy streams then that's more money then that's more money which i mean doesn't really matter to miles leonard he's getting paid 10 million dollars regardless it's still more money getting left out of your pocket because of the dumb decision that you made on stream and on top of that you're supposed to be a nine-year veteran aren't you supposed to be like a kind of leader in the locker room you know what if somebody on the heat is jewish right and they hear you say this and they're gonna look at you differently for sure that's gonna affect team chemistry so it's just a very irresponsible decision on his part but that's my opinions on it hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button if you did enjoy it and if you want more content similar to this don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and without further ado i'll see you guys in the next one peace